Hey guys, what it do, what it do. Welcome to the first uh, Ninja Must Die video. I'm Marv coming here with a video about S rank bounties. I know this is something that is pretty big on people's minds right now, especially after playing this game for a month. Um, so this is something that people are going to be interested in uh, looking at. And so we're going to try and do an S rank bounty um, during this video and also talk about how uh, a player can actually get into doing it. Uh, so here I'm going to just go into one of my preloaded teams. We're going to be looking um, at a team that I just put together. Uh, if you want to know a little bit about me, I am a whale. So my uh, account's not going to look exactly like everyone else's. Uh, but I will be using a character that I don't main all that often. Uh, and that'll be this Ricky here. Uh, right now I have him set up to where he is going to look close to what you probably have if you are a free-to-play player or someone who's getting into uh, bounties or S bounties for the first time. Uh, so just a few things I think uh, most players should uh, check and see if they're close to in order to be able to uh, do uh, an S rank bounty for the first time. Uh, one thing I think you should all should be able to uh, have is about maybe 2000 ish kind of attack uh, if you're a little bit over or a little bit under it's not going to be too big of a deal uh, right now you see my rookie sitting here with um, 1976 um, he's going to be uh, able to hit uh, pretty uh, well enough um, usually uh, the higher your attack the better uh, your chance you'll have especially uh, with um, dealing damage to the boss so it'll be very very important uh, another thing is I think you also should have at least two S rank um, relics um, and this is should be relatively easy to do uh, if you've been playing the game for you know at least a week or two uh, the ones I have equipped to Ricky um, here is this uh, Thunderball this is one that uh, you should be able to get uh, within the story. I can't quite remember if it was in chapter three or chapter four, but it is a reward in the story. So this should be something that um, most players should be able to get to. And then more likely than not, uh, whoever your main character that you're maining, you'll probably will have access to their S rank ring. Um, and one of the uh, novice missions that is an, a prize that you could get where you were able to select your own um, elemental ring. So at the very least, you should probably have at least two S rank um, relics um, on your uh, character when you're doing uh, these S rank bounties because they can really um, turn the tide in what you're looking at. Um, of course, I do have access to a few other S rank bounties, but I'm not, I mean, excuse me, a uh, few uh, S rank relics, but I'm not gonna use them uh, just to simulate um, how uh, difficult it might be for um, players to have a full uh, loadout set uh, for their uh, main character and then also you want to have um, at least a weapon that is going to be um, at the very least five stars um, meaning that it has been um, can't remember the term I think it's limit broken uh, could be another term but basically you have it awakened up to a, a certain level um, you can see here I have this one um, relatively level pretty well um, or having over 1100 attack all on its own um, and this is the uh, legendary um, swirl blade. So this is going to be the electric sword um, that will synergize pretty well uh, with Ricky. Um, it is going to be limit broken one. And because of that, um, I'm not going to equip, equip a sub weapon uh, for him because I'm pretty sure a lot of players may not necessarily have um, the, the numbered uh, limit breaks on their uh, weapons as of yet. Um, so I did get two of these and I put them together so the sword will operate a little bit differently than um, what it normally would do. Uh, so for that, we're just going to um, put that little handicap of not having a sub weapon. Sub weapon would add about maybe 20% um, more stats to um, my rookie here, but we're not gonna worry too much about that. Um, one thing I do wanna note though, is that for him, my rookie is gonna be uh, unlocked pretty uh, well with the perks. Uh, so he will have an extra 240 attack. Um, he has his relic slot open, but I'm not equipping anything there for um, just for purposes of um, keeping this as closely uh, related to a free to play uh, position as possible. And then he's going to have some ninjutsu uh, attack through plus 320 uh, with Ricky's ninjutsu. It's not going to be um, 
um, as useful all of the time, depending on who you're fighting. So if you don't know, his uh, ninjutsu does uh, shoot in a straight line, and it can be pretty easy to miss uh, because a lot of bosses uh, tend to be um, dodgy, and they were not going to just stand there and take a lot of um, hits. And then these other few perks uh, will just help with uh, his ninjutsu ability. So he'll add some uh, chain lightning. Um, we'll see what that'll look like once we um, run uh, this bounty uh, with Ricky. And then also uh, this one here will increase his attack when bosses are um, above 50% HP. So this was probably um, going to be the perk that makes the biggest difference. Um, but it won't be too big of a deal um, when we're um, going through and looking at how uh, we can perform when doing these bounties. Um, just real quick, also, uh, just a small talk about the team that I have here. Um, right now, I'm using the support ninja here. He's uh, actually pretty useful uh, because he does allow for your shuriken attacks to be um, stronger. Uh, generally, I think he's probably one of the most useful um, support ninjas to take when um, going on uh, at least doing boss battles, because um, that'll be your main source of damage, that being your... Oh, we already got a, <laughs> a request for a bounty. We're just going to skip some of these for right now. Uh, but essentially, that'll be one of your uh, main sources of attack. Um, so definitely uh, very useful. Um, I'm using the um, cats for the uh, extra healing recovery. Um, so I would recommend doing this only when instances where you are uh, not sure if you're still... Uh, are going to be uh, taking a lot of hits uh, when doing the bounties. But if you're first starting off, I would say this is a useful um, uh, uh, support ninja to have um, because it can save your life with uh, the extra generation. Um, and then also Pepper here, she's going to uh, provide a little extra um, attack to the ninjutsus. Um, but you don't necessarily need to um, have her equipped um, in this portion. Um, you could also um, swap her out with... Um, with Kuro. Kuro has a pretty good um, support ability as well, where he is adding extra ninjutsu, uh, a flat extra ninjutsu uh, attack to uh, the team. But I think over time, Peppers is um, better. Um, I wouldn't say either uh, Ren or um, Soga are going to actually have the best um, support abilities for uh, fighting bosses. So if you're jumping into uh, S-Rank Bounties for the first time and your main character um is not necessarily someone who is going to uh, provide a lot of um, support for boss battles, then you probably just want to go with um, Kuro. Uh, he would be uh, the best the best bet. Um, but if you haven't noticed, my uh, actual main that I main is Ren. Um, but for the purposes of this, we'll we'll go with Ricky. He should. He is uh, at a uh, awakening level uh, seventy. I think this is uh, something that. Uh, players should uh, probably be at by the time they um, start attempting doing S-rank bounties. Um, I know you could probably do pretty well if you are level 16, you're feeling very confident with your uh, skills. Um, but if you're not, um, I would say awakening, uh, getting to level 70 and awakening is a, a good place to uh, be. Um, so for this, I have a few bounties uh, that we could look at, um, but we're going we're gonna to try this one, uh, the Shikigami. The only... Uh, yeah, oh, there we go. Uh, the only um, thing that he's going to have on him for this is that he's going to take less uh, damage from fire element uh, people. So he won't be uh, too much of an issue um, for us. All right. So um, for this demonstration, for doing this, we are going to probably work exclusively off my friends list. Uh, these are people that I, I'm pretty uh, sure will be able to do well um, in these bounties. They've um, fought with me at some point in time um, for all of these. So we're just going to send some invites out. Hopefully we'll get some people to um, to to jump in. And we'll also draw in from the guild as well. See if any of these people join. Oh, all right, we got a few people coming in. Uh, let's see, we need one more, one more. Did I already send? Well, we'll just send a, a set out again. And if not, we can get one other random person to, to join in. Uh, one thing that you uh, should do uh, when you're starting these for the first time is to uh, set goals for yourself. I think one of the uh, best things you can do as a um, 
person who's just starting out is to just um, set a goal of saying, you know, if if this is my first time doing it, I want to have a goal of hitting 100K um, damage. Um, and I say 100K because in most uh, S-rank fights, you are going to be going up against the boss where the HP is around 700K. Uh, so uh, if you're able to hit 100K, you're definitely going to be able to carry um, your weight um, in terms of um, helping out and then finishing the boss. And if you're not able to do 100K, then, you know, 50K. And if you're not doing that, then, you know, 25, 5, whatever is your stopping point when you first do this uh, is to just get better over time, you know, doing these um, as, as often as possible because a lot of times you're probably not going to be able to do it on your first um, go. It looks like someone is not readying up. They're not saying anything in chat as well. So let me see. We'll just um, see if they'll uh, respond, but they'll have to get kicked if they're not um, readying up soon. Uh, nope, they left. All right, that's fine. Um, let's see. We'll send out another round. I'm sure people will uh, will jump in. Uh, let's see. And if not, we'll just send another. Oh, no. We'll just send another um, thing out to everyone. We'll go with, oh, <laughs> we'll go with Eminent 3. I think that should be fine. Um, I know sometimes people will say shadow and that'll take forever to fill up. Uh, but yeah, essentially set a goal for yourself. Um, I would say 100K would be a good goal. That's what we're going to try and hit here. And uh, I'm pretty sure uh, everyone else will be able to uh hit it as well. So we'll try and see if we can do it on our first uh, try, but it's a possibility that we may not um, be able to do it. But some of the things to keep in mind when doing these fights is that you wanna pay attention to uh, AI patterns um, from the uh, boss itself. Uh, Cause a lot of times you'll start to figure out that there are some, there are some uh, common things that uh, the bosses will tend to do. Uh, with this Shigami fight, um, he'll tend to do a bunch of these uh, little orbs, and you'll just have to dodge them um, as best you can. A lot of times, uh, they can be uh, relatively easy to see, um, but they can be tricky at uh, some point. Uh, so essentially, what you're going to try and do at the beginning of your fight is just learn um, how the boss is moving, um, and there are going to be some common patterns that you will see. Uh, in instances where you're not able to uh, figure out uh, how to dodge a particular attack, remember you can always use your main attack. Uh, unfortunately, I missed every single one of these uh, things uh, to block uh, some attacks with the uh, boss itself. And as you see with this fight, it's going actually pretty quickly because uh, I have some strong uh, people with me. Uh, but essentially, uh, the fight itself will be uh, in three uh, phases where you're going from the 18th bar to the 12th bar on down and then you're going again from the uh, 12th to the 6th and then from 6 to 0. And actually yeah these this boss is burning uh, real quick. <laughs> I didn't actually think it was going to go this quick but essentially the biggest thing is if this is your first time doing these kinds of fights you're going to want to at least last as much as possible. So you just want to get an idea of how the boss is going to move and then the ways in which you can dodge them. And most things can be dodged uh, with just the regular um, the, uh, the the regular skill set um, from the the ninjas where it's just the, the jump the dive the double jump like those things should uh, are, are you should be able to do it with uh, just that you don't necessarily need triple jump or um, or the um, or uh, Rin's uh, 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 glide ability but it does it is a nice have uh, nice thing to have and we are uh, uh, Yep, yeah, we made it. All right, see, and that's basically it, right? So here we only got to 80,000 um, because we had some very overpowered people helping us out, which is great. So, you know, if you have some strong friends, um, that will always be a uh, boon to have as well. So yeah, that is um, basically uh, fighting these bounties um, in a nutshell is that it's, it's really uh, something that you're just going to have to uh, do over and over and over again where you're trying to uh, fight your bosses. Um, and actually, we'll do another one. This time, I'll just uh, go to my main and then we can just see uh, how much of a difference um, 
uh, that that all can make uh, once you get uh, deeper and deeper into doing it. So this is my general uh, build that I oh then at the save. <laughs> this is my general build that I use um, for uh, my Ren um, as I fight these bounties. Uh, so again, these uh, I am not free to play. So my Ren's basically um, at one ten. I just haven't gotten to the point of dropping all of those uh, coins to get her up to uh, the the max level. But essentially. We're working with um, uh, some pretty good relics here. Uh, we have her uh, mirror and her fan for her jade set. I think these are uh, two uh, of the better ones that she can get. I believe she has one that's um, also a pure attack relic. Um, I haven't come across that one yet, but um, that one's really good as well. Um, and then we have the uh, soul elixir. Uh, excuse me, uh, providing the uh, HP recovery and the attack. Uh, this one's really good uh, considering that for her set bonus, she will um, receive extra attack when she's at full HP. So if she does take a hit, um, she can recover pretty quickly. Um, I'm not the the best player, but I'm definitely um, not uh, uh, mediocre either. So I will take hits here and there. So um, this really uh, will help her out. Um, and then just the uh, regular shuriken uh, ring set nothing really uh, too big about that um, and then here also we're working with the uh, sky crystal kunai uh, so it is limit broken twice um, so we'll have a few extra um, nice uh, things going on with it and then also uh, the iphone for instances where i need a shield uh, so it does come in uh, handy uh, one thing i do like to do sometimes is to uh, start off with pepper and then switch over to ren uh, so i do have um, these two uh, relics here master mystique and the ninjutsu uh, cheat sheet really really nice relics because they help with your starting ninjutsu energy uh, so the s uh, version uh, gives 35 and the um uh, cheat sheet gives uh, 23. Uh, one really, really nice thing about these two is that they're not seen as the same type of relic. So if you don't know, you can't equip the same um, type of relic uh, class uh, to uh, your ninjas. But these are two different types and they give um, two, basically the same um, the same uh, uh uh, starting um, uh, ninjutsu energy so it's really nice it stacks um, so if uh, if you go through your bosses and uh, you have 25 percent from the coins that you get and then you get the 23 from uh, the this b rank relic and then the 35 from this s you basically are are able to start off with your uh, ninjutsu pretty quickly and it carries over if um, for instance pepper uh, dies early um, so actually why don't we uh, show that off um, and see how this strategy oops how this strategy uh, would work. Um, we're just gonna set uh, Pepper as our our main ninja, and then we will jump into this. Um, and I'm going to this time just invite uh, people from uh, from the chat. So we'll just uh, have some random invites come in, uh, and if people take too long, then we'll just uh, no. I guess they're not taking too long. Uh, but yeah, if people decided to take too long, we would have just gone to the friends list. So let's see what we can do when we just randomly um, invite people uh, to this. Let them all get adjusted, get ready. And uh, one thing I will say, though, is um, if you're not able to do these in the first go round, uh, definitely be patient with it, right? Uh, I know some people will uh, tend to disband their rooms too early when they... Uh, get knocked out uh rather quickly uh what that's probably not the um best way to go about doing it i think at least giving it three or four tries with the team that you have would be very very a, a very good idea um because that way you can get an idea of how people um will move through these matches and uh, work them because there's a there's a pacing that uh, definitely needs to happen when it comes to these because if you get stuck on one section for too long uh, you will find that the uh, bosses uh, will be a little unforgiving. Uh, so, you know, get a, get an idea of like how everyone else is moving through this. And if you uh, die early, watch how other people are fighting the bosses because I think that will help. Oops. That will help um, uh, teach you how uh, other people are trying to tackle um, the same issue. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you see with Pepper here, uh, her ninjutsu energy is already mostly... Um, full. So all I really got to do is collect some of these shurikens and then we will let her, you know, fight the big one, I guess. And uh, we'll switch over to Ren, who will be my heavy hitter for this. So we'll just let Pepper die out here. 
I will cost a 10 jade, um, but now we can um, just jump in and do our special with Ren. Uh, and this is her uh, upgraded version. I basically have all the nodes on this unlocked except for uh, the last one, uh, which would do a screen, a screen, excuse me, sweep at the end, I believe. Um, but basically, uh, we got the boss all the way down this far already. I think we should have a pretty good chance of getting him um, out of here. The only issue is that this is a boss that will get stronger the more people die. So this is uh, sometimes a tricky one to do because if people die early, then, you know, um, one hit could definitely kill you. But we're, we're in a pretty good spot. Um, unfortunately, we have three deaths already. But with this much time left, as long as I can dodge, uh, we should be okay. So we're going to test my ability as a uh, player right here. Yeah, so um, the Shigigami fight uh, can be uh, an issue uh, sometimes if you're not entirely sure how uh, these orbs will move. Um, but, you know, with experience, um, I think for the most part, you should be okay. I know this one I don't have to move at all, but this next one I will have to. Oh, no, nope, everyone's dead. That's not good. Oh, there we go. So it looks like maybe two or three hits at this point will kill me from full health. So I just need to make sure if I do get hit that I don't let it all compound. And that's one thing to make sure as well is that, you know, you're you're going to get hit at some point. It's just not making sure it's just making sure that you don't um, double up on the mistakes as they come. Uh, actually, I'm getting close to my uh, ninjutsu all over again. And that's one other good thing about this uh, scroll and cheat cheat combination is that since you do your ninjutsu so early, uh, there's a possibility that, you know, depending on if you're able to charge it up again, you can get it to uh, activate again. And we might have to in order to uh, hit this buzzer time limit here. Come on, give me something. Ooh, didn't make it. All right, we're going to try it again. Um, that one's actually uh, pretty close. I, if I had a couple more seconds, I think we would have uh, been able to have made it. Everyone's still here, so that's good. We'll see how uh, people are going to react um, now that we had this uh, first fight go through. Uh, hopefully, people will ready up. Uh, no one's saying anything in the comments. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get everyone to uh, ready up. Okay, here we go. And we have, come on, Veli Vel. Because if you don't do it, I'm going to have to kick you. Oh, it's already running over. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right, so let's give this one more go, see how we do. You know, this is just a trial and error. You know, sometimes uh, it takes a while for everything uh, to come together. Um, one thing I'm wondering is whether or not I should hold off on my ninjutsu a little bit before we transition. Um, but we'll see how the fight goes again. And we will uh, basically do our uh, similar uh, strategy. So if you notice um, Pepper's uh, ninjutsu is basically um, charged up. So there we go. So all we really need to do is collect a few shuriken, and we should be good to go. There we go. Thread the needle. And you know, you'll get... Ah, there we go. Now she can die. Uh, but you'll get used to uh, doing these... Really quickly, I mean, you know, just more reps is all you really need because after a while, you'll just you just feel it uh, come to you. It's kind of like muscle memory after after a while. Um, the only S rank bounty, I guess, that will probably be the hardest to um, figure out will be Shadow Blood. He can definitely give uh, a lot of headaches. I know a lot of people don't necessarily always like to. 
um, fight him, but I think he's a fun fight if you uh, have enough people who can uh, who have the damage to uh, take him out. Because uh, the biggest thing with him is that he definitely moves a lot. So, you know, just going st straight in with your ninjutsus for like large amounts of damage is not going to be um, something that you'll be able to do all that often. Um, but other than that, I think the other ones, once you get a feel for how they um, all attack, it becomes a lot uh, more simpler to uh, take them out. So we're looking pretty good. We got three people alive at this point. Um, I'm not uh, fumbling and bumbling right now, so that's great. Um, we'd be in trouble, I guess, if I was, since I'm carrying a lot of the damage right now, which is not too big of a deal. Um, I ought to, since I, you know invested so much into my character um all right yeah we're, we're 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 gonna make this i got a shield i got someone else with me we got 80 seconds this is uh, uh all right spoke too soon all right maybe not maybe not maybe not we, we should still be on our guard um this one's not too bad this one just have to jump we're coming up with there we go. Yes, great time to use this. All right, just need a little bit more. There we go. So yeah, um, so this is just another way we can go about doing it. So if you do have another character that you know you can jump in with, um, I would say start with like one of your weaker characters, and then you know do that trick where you just transition to um, your main and then you can um, unload uh, as much as possible. So if you are having issues with that, that is one thing you can do. Uh, but yeah, uh, definitely, uh, if you thought this video was informative, leave a like, subscribe, um, and then also join the um, the uh, Ninja Must Die Discord uh, if you're looking for some more uh, questions and need some help. And uh, depending on how well this video does, uh, we'll see if we can um, do another one, see if we can uh, help some more people out. Uh, so until next time, y'all take care.